laws are enacted and enforced because criminalities exist in the country. The Gambia Police Department formed a division called the Anti-Crime Unit meant to combat and subdue crimes in the country. But what exactly is the work of the Anti-Crime Unit? Here we are at the headquarters to dig into the activities of the Anti-Crime Unit. How do they combat crimes in the country? The anti-crime unit of the Gambia Police Force has become a household name at many quarters over the years. These officers are charged with the responsibility to avoid crimes and protect life and property, but more so maintain law and order within the country. This is the tactical team of the anti-crime unit, and today is a day of tactical training. A team that goes in confrontation with criminals necessitates exposure to such indispensable maneuvers. Such trainings feasibly expound the reason why these officers survive in hostile vicinities during night patrols and raiding. They are exposed to martial arts for self-defense and raiding purposes. This imparts a strong message to law offenders who might want to challenge their book before the law. The training includes climbing high platforms, which helps them pursue suspects with ease. The officers are also trained to escape order attacks, including fire for various proactive pursuits. It became a frequent venture for the anti-crime officials to conduct more operations to contain crimes. A unit specially designed to tackle crime issues in the country needs frequent training to be able to handle crimes. The anti-crime unit is exposed to tactical trainings and difficult trainings to be able to combat crimes, especially when they visit crime hotspots in the country. Encounter. And if we encounter it, what do we do? Coordinating the trainings and helping to imbue the enforcement skills into the officers is the unit commander, Commissioner Gorgon Boob. He told us these officers are well trained to be deployed against any internal threat. All the officers of the anti-crime unit are well trained. And this is a routine training that every week we have to go on the field twice a week and then uh, to the obstacles once a week. Well, because this unit is not only uh, fighting crime, but it's also, it was, it's also serving as a counter-terrorism unit. So basically all what you see here, especially the martial arts, you can see them dem demonstrating what they encounter on the ground. Most times you go and see very, very, very hardcore criminals. They will come out with knives and tell the officer, law fair, some like, officer, what are you doing here? He further said the resentment that the officers encounter in the field invigorated the unit and grossed them into more critical drills beyond our camera. But more to it is their operating instructions before they leave to implement. They drove through these busy traffic, at the same time randomly observing the environment whilst on the journey to crime hotspots. The squad drove straight to Tanja Fish Landing site, a place they described as a hot spot for unlawful dealings. Who might have assumed this breezy environment, endowed with natural resources for the freezing community, will turn into an avenue of delinquencies when the visa fall close for work and their canoes stealthily swinging above the sea. We were about to witness an aquatic scenery of anti-crime sea raiding until when we were told no criminal was found. Perhaps they took off earlier before the arrival of the team. The surge in crime is almost a worldwide phenomenon attached with negative consequences for victims of crimes and for society as a whole. The evening stayed to dusk. The officers continued the night patrolling to designated areas observe and preserve the peace whilst preventing misconduct. One of the most active operations of the anti-crime unit is the night patrol to raid crime hotspots and arrest criminals. The state broadcaster continues the journey into the night with the anti-crime unit. In most jurisdictions, these officers are expected to exercise their authority whenever it is necessary. Here in Brufood, 
A group of young men run off the zone, leaving their stuff behind before the team arrives. This is among the days when the anti-crime unit of the Kami police force will raid places and have no criminal trapped. Having to storm the crime hot spots unexpectedly has significantly reduced the rate of crime by low offenders, perhaps a move that credits the government for allowing people to exercise their freedoms, but determined to protect them from the rough elements bent on disrupting peace. The team drove back to the headquarters where they had a short briefing before dispatching. It has become a normal routine for law offenders, leading to the continuous oppression of the anti-crime unit to combat crimes in the country. Aminata Isanyang, GRTS.